To add these together, I need common denominators. So uh, this is x minus 5. This is its own factor. I can't factor it at all. And 4x is also its own factor. So this thing needs a 4x on top and bottom. And this one needs an x minus 5 on top and bottom. So I get uh, 4x times 2 is 8x. 4x, x minus 5 plus 3. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this into there. I get 3x minus 15. 4x, x minus 5. And now you can see I have common denominators, so I can add the numerators together. 8x plus 3x is 11x minus 15 all over 4x, x minus 5. So um, the next step would be to simplify this, which I would need to factor the numerator. The numerator is just a linear term. There's nothing to factor. I can't take anything out of there. So there's no, no way to simplify this down any further. So this is my statement. I could state that x cannot equal 0 and 5 from these two things, but that's already there. Like, like, like you, you can see that x can't equal 0 and negative 5 or positive 5. Um, so you don't actually have to necessarily need to state this, but it is it is a nice thing to have um, to, to think about. But that's that that's a valid solution.